Welcome to the Plant Food Federation, the place where plants and plates collide. If you're new to this channel, I'm Afyong. Now, I had a friend reach out to me a while ago to let me know that she was going dairy free and she was wondering how she was going to survive without her creamy pasta dishes. Now, when anyone tells me that they're going free of anything when it relates to food, I get so, so excited because I always believe it's the first step in an amazing journey to transitioning their way of eating. And secondly, I could totally relate to how she was feeling because when I transitioned to plant-based eating, creamy, cheesy pastas, which were my comfort faves, were just something that I missed so much. The good news is they are really easy to make plant-based. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two creamy vegan pasta recipes. The first one is a roasted red bell pepper penne pasta, PPP, a lot of peas, um, that you can dial the heat up or down as much as you like. And the second one is a make in a snap creamy vegan Alfredo pasta that's just simple and filling and full of flavor. Now, the key to a good plant-based creamy pasta dish is your plant-based milk. Okay, two um, recommendations I have for that are cashew milk. Cashew milk because it is bland and it is quite creamy. And the second one is almond milk, but almond milk that you make yourself at home because you want it to be as thick as possible. And sometimes store-bought versions aren't always that thick. So. As we head into the kitchen, so I can show you how to make these pastas, look below this window, you will see the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit subscribe. And while you're doing that, hit the notification button as well, because we're going to want to stay connected and you're going to want to get alerted as soon, as soon as new videos go up on this channel. So let's get in the kitchen so I can show you how to make these dishes. Let's start with the first pasta dish, which is the roasted red pepper penne pasta. For this dish, the bell peppers are definitely the star of the show. I'm also going to use shiitake mushrooms, which are a meaty mushroom. I'm gonna be using a gluten-free brown rice penne pasta, along with fresh basil, lots of spices, chili, paprika, salt, black pepper. I've got cashew milk, which I made myself, shallots, garlic and nutritional yeast. Let's start by preparing the bell peppers. So all you have to do with these is to wash them and cut them in half. Once they've been cut in half, you want to remove the stem and the seeds and the core. And then you're going to clean them out. Just pull out any sort of veins or fibers on the inside and cut out any um, tough pieces as well. Once the peppers are cut, you want to lay them cut side down on a baking sheet and place them in the oven and set the oven to grill or to broil. You want to blister the skin and wait for the skin to start to blacken. While the peppers are grilling, I'm just going to go ahead and chop up my mushrooms. Again, I love shiitake mushrooms because they just give a meaty flavor to any dish that you use them with. I'm then moving on to my shallots. Um, I'm using these, these are a milder onion, milder, sweeter onion. Um, and I'm just going to basically dice these up. So I'm gonna cut them long ways and then I'm gonna cut them across to sort of dice them. I'm gonna peel some garlic. I'm probably gonna use about three cloves of garlic in this dish. Next up, we're going back to the peppers. So these have grilled and blackened in the oven. And so I'm just gonna place them in a dish and cover the dish with some cling film. So this actually helps to capture the steam and that's what's going to loosen the skin from the flesh. So I'm gonna leave it for about 10, 15 minutes and then take off the cling film. And as you can see, the skin has wrinkled. So I'm just pulling off the skins. They come off pretty easily, as you can see and you just have to pull it off and that's basically what it looks like. It's a bit rubbery. It's definitely a messy job, but it's well worth the effort. So I'm gonna put these in a blender and I'm just gonna blend it up into a puree. And this is basically our re roasted red pepper puree ready for the pasta. In my boiling water I have on the stove, I'm just gonna pour my pasta in there. I'm gonna cook it according to instructions. I'm gonna take it off the heat about a minute before it's done. Into a pan, I'm gonna put my oil, add in my shallots, and basically saute these along with my garlic. I'm then just gonna pour in my 
pasta sauce, my pepper sauce and stir everything in together. This part goes really quickly. I'm adding, I'm adding in my nutritional yeast and I'm going to mix that in as well. And the yeast flakes will melt into the sauce after a few minutes. Now I'm adding in my creamy cashew milk. Um, I make this myself at home just so that I can make it thick enough for my pasta sauces. It's pretty easy to make. So you want to pour that in and mix everything together and let it cook down. So once that's mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and add my paprika into this and also some chili powder as well. Stir that in and then I'm just adding a bit more salt. And then go in my mushrooms. And you don't want to cook these too long, so I add them towards the end of the cooking process. So you want to mix those in, make sure that they are well covered, and there you basically have your sauce. I'm just adding in a bit more pasta water from the boiled pasta just to thin this sauce out a little bit. And now I'm adding in my cooked pasta. Now I removed the pasta from the heat about a minute or so before it was cooked al dente because it's still going to cook for a minute or two in the sauce. You want to make sure you mix everything together. Make sure all your pasta is well coated. And I love using penne pasta for this because the pasta sauce gets into the tubes, which is great. So I'm adding in the basil at the very end and I'm just stirring it in gently with the rest of the pasta. But this dish is pretty much done. And there you have it, roasted red bell pepper pasta. So I'm just gonna plate this dish. It's really simple plating, nothing fancy. This is comfort food. Um, so I'm going to add some vegan Parmesan, which I'll leave the recipe for that in the description box below. I'm gonna sprinkle on some red pepper flakes and I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh basil to top it off. But this is it. Quick, simple, full of flavor and really, really comforting. Let's move on to the next pasta bowl. This is my creamy Alfredo Fettuccine pasta. I love this dish. It's even quicker to make and you can add to it whatever you like, but I'm going to start with the basic ingredients. So I've got spinach, onions, I've got nutritional yeast again, garlic, lemon. I'm using almond milk for this particular recipe. Um, and I'm using fettuccine as well. You can use spaghetti, capellini, angel hair pasta, farfalle, whichever pasta you have. I've got some salt and pepper and some olive oil. So this dish is really, really simple. So I'm going to start off by squeezing my lemons. I'm probably going to use about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. I like the taste of lemon in this particular recipe. I'm going to peel about three cloves of garlic and I'm just going to crush them. I love this garlic crusher, it saves me so much time. I'm going to cut my onion. Now when I cut this onion in half, I realized it wasn't very good. It's been around for a while, so I switched up and used the remaining shallots that I have. So I'm just going to slice them and dice them really fine. Um, I like to dice them fine in these particular pastas because um, I don't want big chun chunks of onion in there. In my boiling water on the stove, I'm going to add salt and olive oil. Olive oil prevents the pasta from sticking together while it's cooking. I'm going to go ahead and add in my pasta and let that cook according to instructions. In a separate pan, I'm going to add my olive oil and onions and I'm just going to sweat the onions for a little bit. I'm then going to add in my garlic and continue to stir these in the pan. Next up is my almond milk. So I'm going to go ahead and add the almond milk and let that cook. I'm adding salt and I also added the lemon juice as well to this beforehand. In goes my nutritional yeast and black pepper. And then I'm just going to stir everything together until the nutritional yeast flakes melt into the sauce. My pasta is done. So now I'm adding the pasta to the pan. And I'm using tongs this time to just gently stir the pasta into the sauce. I don't want to break up the pasta. I just want to keep them long and whole. I'm going to sprinkle on top my spinach. Um, I added a lot of spinach to this, but it's going to cook down. 
and I'm also just going to continue to gently turn the pasta and the spinach together in the pan but this dish is basically done you don't want to overcook your spinach So let's go ahead and plate this. Uh, the plating for this dish is really simple. I'm just going to plate it in a bowl and I'm just going to top it with some fresh cracked black pepper. And there you have it, a creamy Alfredo fettuccine pasta, plant-based, vegan, and full of goodness. These creamy pastas are so easy to make. They're great for weeknight dinners if you are in a rush or in a pinch because they take no time. Remember to add plant milks to add creaminess to your sauces, add mushrooms to provide meatiness to your dishes, and add nutritional yeast to provide a bit of cheesiness. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, just remember that eating more plants is always a good thing to do. See you in the next video.